Hi, it's Andrew Priestley, and welcome to another episode of Multiply Your Money. This is episode number 12, and uh, I'm reading from a book called The Money Chimp, which is available on Amazon. And the whole purpose of this book is to help you spend less, save more, get out of debt faster. And I say that, and um, and people say they want that, and uh, sometimes they go, they know what they want, they know how to do it, but sometimes they don't actually follow through. So uh, these videos are designed to help you get your head around this whole personal finance thing and to actually take action. That's what it's all about. And um, today, what I'm reading from, I'm just reading from a book, I'm reading from the top three money managing tips, the top three money managing tips. So um, this is what we know. I, I looked at over uh, 140 um, books um, on money, and I did over over 40 uh, courses and read hundreds of websites that all were talking about how to manage your money and how to get out of debt and how to reduce debt and how to save money, all those sort of things. And... Um, and then I did uh, like a spreadsheet and I did a meta-analysis of all the ideas and it really came down to 10 key things. But um, the top three, the top three money managing tips that I could find and, you know, I'm reading books where they're talking about research that they've done and the conclusions they came to. So I pretty much came to the same conclusion. The top three, the top three tips are spend less than you earn, plan for the future and make money make more money. And uh, in the next uh, few videos, I'm going to go over each one of those. Now, I've been spending a little bit of time on uh, how to spend less, spend less money, spend less than you earn, okay? And um, in that, spend less than you earn, it implies, well, firstly, you know how much you earn. And that's, I'm, I'm assuming you know how much you earn. And yet when I talk to a lot of people, it's amazing that they don't know how much they earn. Right, um, so you need to find out what is my. If if you're an employee, uh, maybe you can go to. I think I still call it the paymaster or the HR person, um, but go and get a statement, a statement of employment, and that should tell you what your annual salary is, what your weekly or fortnightly or monthly salary is, how much your contributions are to pensions and NI and all that sort of stuff. But it should give you an idea of what your what your annual salary is, okay? And so the idea is to spend less than your annual salary. If you work for yourself, uh, your income may fluctuate. Well, you need to sort of go back over maybe three years' worth of trading and see what, uh, or go back to your accountant and ask for various, um, uh, go back if you can go back through the figures and say, okay, well, how much did I actually earn over on average over the last three years? And that'll give you a starting point. Right? But it's important that you know that. Um, if you don't know, what's going on? So you need to know that stuff, okay? But spend less than you earn. Plan for the future, fairly obvious, okay? Um, you know, the future could be the immediate future and also can be the long-term future. So, for example, planning for the immediate future might be having money set aside for emergencies, such as a boiler breaking or your car needing a service or um, uh, dental work, for example. You know, I've, I... Uh, cracked a tooth in there and uh, I've got the cost of a new laptop. <laughs> it needed root canal and a bridge work and there's a cost of a new laptop right there. <laughs> and fortunately, I had that money set aside. But had I not had that money set aside, I didn't know when it was going to happen and I didn't hope it, I hope it didn't happen, but I planned for it, okay? I had a contingency, okay? And the last one is make your money make more money and those are the top three things. So, Make your money make more money. Obviously, if you're saving money, you're creating surplus, and at some point you can look at how you could invest that money uh, in a more prudent way so that it makes money a lot faster than you can earn it. That's that's the sort of the idea. So tip number one is spend less than you earn. And look, there's a really famous quote by Charles Dickens, which I won't read, but it's Wilkins Micawber. And basically what he's saying, if your income is £20 and you spend... Uh, 19 pounds 90 happy days but if your income is 20 pounds and you spend 19 pounds 20 um, uh, you're in trouble so the goal is to spend less than you earn and I would say because when Dickens wrote um, David Copperfield 
they didn't have things like credit card and they didn't have access, uh, you know, people didn't have easy access to banking, credit and personal finance and stuff like that. Um, so now with credit card and with personal loans and that, I would say don't spend more than you can afford to repay. Okay. Um, because I say that because we have uh, young professionals have a absolute mountain of credit card debt. In fact, you know, young professionals 18 to 28 owe 9.7 billion on credit cards in this country, right? Now, the good news is for young professionals, they haven't racked up that a horrendous amount of debt in that thing. And so it's more than possible to get yourself out of debt quite quickly, okay? But I would say try and get yourself out of credit card debt as quickly as you possibly can. And I would even then say don't get into credit card debt in the first place. So, you know, I know people who um, don't even know when their credit card da- payments are due, and so they pay late fees and interest fees and things like that, okay? Um, of course, uh, if we're talking about debt, there's a difference between good and bad debt. I think credit card debt is bad debt. Um, is a mortgage bad debt? No, a mortgage, is, I think, is good debt because it's an asset. If you, Once you sell it, you can actually realize that asset if you sell that debt, or you can rent it out, and you can then create surplus cash from it, right? So... Um, I think you already know this. You know, I'm, I explain this in a little bit more detail in the book, The Money Chip. I think you know this. I think you know what is the difference between good and bad debt. I think you know what is a prudent use of your credit card or not. And what I'm trying to get people to do is take a very mature, um, grounded, consistent approach to their money where they come from a position of strength, okay? Not from a position of disempowerment or weakness. And you're not going to wake up in the morning knowing how to manage your money. Um, but that's no reason why you shouldn't learn how to do it. And as I said in the very, very first uh, video, you know, money's just like a game. You just learn the rules and play by the rules. And then you get really good at the game. Okay. Okay. So, um, firstly, you can get the book on Amazon. Uh, if you're. Uh, on Facebook or LinkedIn, if you search for Multiply Your Money in groups, you'll find you can join either the Facebook or the LinkedIn group for Multiply Your Money. You can go there. And the reason you should do that is there's a lot of treats and goodies that aren't anywhere else. So I've put in things like the free money quiz. That's inside the LinkedIn group and inside the Facebook group. Um, you can also go on to Spotify or uh, Apple Podcasts and you can search for Multiply Your Money, Andrew Priestley. And you can get all of this as podcasts if if you want to listen to it on the go, go, for example. Okay. Um, If you go to YouTube, click on the video. If you click on this video, it takes you through to YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Please subscribe. I really appreciate it if you could that. The reason being is the more people who subscribe, the more it gets on the radar of people. And this information, um, I really want to get this this message out to a lot of people. So if you can subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, don't forget to do that. Um, I think the button's down there. And check out my little, if you're on YouTube, check out my little uh, Money Chimp logo, my Money Chimp watermark. It's really cool. I I was fascinated. I learned how to do that. Anyway, um, talk to you soon. See you on the next video. Bye.